Hi guys, welcome. We've just changed our learning path and because of that phases one, two, three, four, and we have now eight phases. And for phase four, we're going to make a few videos about the Arcanix Tweak tool. I'm sure you already know it, but it can definitely can use a new update video just in general. And later on, we're gonna have some fun and start up Cinnamon, add Qtile to it, extend it, add XFC to it, XFC it, add BSPWM to it. So it's there's so many combos with 22 desktops, you can have a lot, a lot of combos. So this is a general video about adding tweet tool. Control Alt E is going to ask your password and then the tweak tool launches. We've changed the look and the style as well. The fonts are back. Now, the people who are uh, with us for a few years already, they know we started with this, with the fonts, uh, well, the, the titles here, not in icons, but in texts. So it seems when you start installing some nice fonts, they say, oh, I like to have a special font. It uh, is going to hinder us. It's going to break the nice look that we have here and icons just disappear and, and strange things happen. So back to fonts it was. So the only thing we're interested in today is this one, the desktop installer. We will keep adding desktops. So at this point in time, there are 22 desktops that are easable, easy installable with just a click and that's it. The desktop is installed, it already knows I have got it. Select to clear cache before we install. So cache, we've learned about that. It's the pseudo Pacman remembered SUV. The car, right? Here is your cache, var cache Pacman packages. Control shift C, super shift enter. Paste it. Here's your cache. Everything you downloaded is here. Several versions of it, by the way, if you keep track of that. So all these packages will be deleted if you do a reinstall and select to clear cache, then all these things will go and you'll download them again just to avoid issues because packages can be corrupt, keys can be missing and stuff like that. So that's an, in, an issue, could be an issue, right? And that's uh, solved by that. Install is a button we all use and if something went wrong, maybe you do a reinstall. That's simple. We will also make a backup and overwrite your .conf config. So because of the fact that this contains lots of configs, and just take a look at all the tiling winner managers, it needs to go in your home directory. Otherwise you just can't boot into it, right? You have a broken system basically. So super shift enter. Whenever we install something, we get another folder. So these are the config folders. That's because we started with scale, right? And this is the backup scale. That's why we have also backups. And if we install something, we have an ATT folder. And that's it. You can always find your folders, uh, your, your settings again in the .config ATT. ATT stands for Arclix Tweak Tool, of course. And last thing that's important to know is things change. Yes, they do. Archelix decides to get rid of um, packages. Key servers are not functioning anymore. Um, your bandwidth is finished for the month. Um, internet is just too slow. It can all matter because Pacman is behind, of course, the graphical user tool, the Archelix Suite tool, just says pseudo Pacman minus S GNOME, right? And it installs GNOME. But if there are conflicts, I recommend you do this and let us know and we can assist you in that matter. So Arclix Tweak Tool, you can launch it from the menu, from the terminal I mean, because ah, hopefully, right, hopefully you get messages and you select some kind of desktop, choose one of them, right? I say, okay, I'm gonna install i3, install, and it's gonna give issues if there are any issues. As simple as that. So that's a tip and you can uh, give it to us. Uh, if there are any issues, you can show us what's happening here and we can 
together analyze why that's happening because we don't know what's on your system. You install all kinds of packages from all kinds of places and that might conflict with the packages we provide. So it's in here, that's where the solution is. All right, enjoy the tweak tool, enjoy the desktop installer, and we're gonna make some tutorials to show you how it's done. Cheers.